Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Anti Jewelry. Uh, the live Friday preview sale. Or live sale preview. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I wanted to come in and show you the tray and show you some of the items that we'll have available this evening. Well, afternoon for the, the West Coast starts at 4 p.m. East Coast, 7 p.m. And midnight, my time here in England. Well, wouldn't you know what we have? Just another enamel egg breast bracelet. Showed you the Wedgwood Jasperware. Vintage, antique style, vintage, 1962-1974. Kids, that's um, nearly 50 and exactly 60, 60 years old. Uh, there's an Art Deco 5-inch round. That's celluloid. Needlepoint. Not, not like the 50s when they just printed it. That's actual needlepoint. It has a celluloid tray inside. Uh, Art Deco powder. Powder container. <laughs> powder box. Um, all of the pearls on the tray, except for this one pair, are cultured. That's cultured on sterling. These beautiful large peach ones are cultured on sterling. There are pink ones. There are lavender ones. These are absolutely beautiful sterling with gold over. They dangle. They're very soft clip. They're very comfortable to wear. Um, these, I do believe, are faux, but they are also probably 1940s. They're set in silver. There are some beautiful collector eggs. I have the boxes. They're vintage, but they were brand new in the box with the stands, two of them. Of course, the Bakelite bo ring boxes, the Victorian ring box, the Art Deco ring boxes. Then there's just a sweet little, I think this is 1960s, but look at it, it's like brand new. Little powder tin. Um, there'll be either singles or doubles of the pearl bracelets. I match them up. Um, this is just on the tray it, it won't be on the tray the box will be on the tray but the pearls I want you to look at them there's 100 inches of these incredible pearls on silk now I like vanity items and I I knew what this was because I've been to Sorrento and it's Sorrento wear. But then when I looked it up, it's olive wood and it's actually 19th century. So, I mean, I'll offer it at a low starting price, low for what it is, but it won't, you know, it'll be on the tray, but you know not not necessarily on the tray it won't be under 50. there's a silver russian spoon let me take a screenshot um let's see what else is on here oh I told you, um, this is really beautiful, faceted rose quartz crystal. And, you know, like rock crystal quartz, it's icy cold. And that is sterling. And I looked it up, and I 
cannot find, it's meant to be a tiger's tooth or a tiger's claw. And I should have known that because I have both of them on that um, vintage or antique fetish necklace that I found. But um, it's meant to be, it's meant to symbolize power. So, you know, I guess the crown, you know, crown of power or, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. But all that is sterling. This is costume, but they're beautiful. Rose crystal quartz beads. That's just a little chippy. Um, whoever buys one of those first, I'll throw the chippy in with it. There's um, uh, it's probably easier for me to just clear things out and show you. Bring this purse over. Um, let's see, who is this? It's vintage, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vintage Holly Craft. If you want to Google that. This is Vintage Monet. Um, this we offered last week. I will offer it at the same price. This is a small pinky ring or someone with a tiny finger. Really pretty chaste cultured pearl sterling ring. Um, not sure who made these earrings, but I picked them up and they're actually, um, UV reactive. I can't say for sure uranium, but they're definitely UV reactive and they're beautiful and they're signed PT. Don't ask me kids. Um, there's a micro, or not micro, mosaic, mosaic black opal, that's a size 7, this I think is a bolder opal, and it's a size, let's check it again, 9 or 10, and this is, um, a roll gold, which means 1 20th. Oh, no, that one line. That's gold fill. <laughs> uh, roll gold is actually... No, it says roll gold. Duh. 120th sheet of pure gold. I mean, there is obviously wear, but I do believe this was probably a man's wedding ring. Look, the pattern is even more off in a lot of it. It's really pretty still, though, I think. Um, and you hear my voice is cracking. And I really have just been busy all day. I'm not... I haven't really been talking that much. So, let's see. That's the tray. And let me take the items off, and I'll show you some other items. Well, while I'm taking those off, I'll let you know that I do have the decorative box, the boxes for those decorative eggs. It was um, a company called Atlas Editions. They're quite beautiful. Like I said, they are absolutely brand new, but vintage in a box. Clearing things off to the side here so I can show you more things that we'll have on offer. I already showed you the pearls. Well, that strand. There's, there's only a million other ones. Told you about the bracelets. Let's put them in here for now. And that is lavender jade. Oh, so, some of these bracelets are just the luster. It's so beautiful. Okay, 
be really careful with those pearl earrings. Well, I want to be careful with everything, but certainly don't want to lose an earring. That would be catastrophe. Oh, what do we do with one earring? Can you hear the train? Um, that's the train that runs to Dartmouth. I live very near Dortmund. And they light it up. I hope to take you on it for Christmas. They light it up and then there's a light show along the tracks. Someone asked if I was going to have some haul items. And you saw, um, what did I measure this out as? Oh, that's awful. I just measured it. I think it's 52. Which would make it, you know, flapper. I can tell you when I stretch it out, it's certainly flapper. And 52 inches. Yeah. I need a nap, guys. I really do. <laughs> so, that beautiful... Satin Cat's Eye, Art Deco, and the box will be available. The pink is, now see, I'm not going to remember. I think 32. <coughs> Excuse me. 32 inches long. We've seen this shape a million times. It's Art Deco, but these are just the prettiest, like, almost like milk glass, but just like a beigey antique pink. I mean, what else are you going to say about them? Um, likely check. All right. Okay. I, I don't know how many of these pearls we're going to get to tonight. But yeah, this is what we're dealing with from the these beautiful coppery bronze. I think I have them from 15 and a half to 17. And I actually have a couple pair of earrings. And you can see some of them have still have their tags. And every single one of them is sterling. The class for sterling. I mean, I don't know if some of them are like a pink, a pinky bronze. There's a golden bronze. There's a really coppery, coppery. These are chocolate. They look like coffee beans but lustrous, beautiful, perfectly uniform button pearls. But gorgeous. So those are the coppery ones. And I, I want to say the strand is 30 inches long. Of course, I've got them tangled. Because that's my middle name. But they're pink and almost like um, a celadon. And then copper. And then a couple different shades of gray. They're incredible. Of course, sterling glass. These I showed you the other day. Pink and lavender and cream and white. Just golden, <laughs> beautiful. 
And then there's a flapper length strand of these incredible platinum. Platinum gray with pink and green. Look, look at the colors. And let's see, all the cream ones. Let me take these off. This set, you're going to say, oh, it's rice pearls. It's rice pearls that are at least vintage. It's marked silver with gold over. So, you know, pearls, even rice pearls, once upon a time, were not cheap. I mean, you're, you know, we're going to charge you prices. Like, oh, it's inflation. <laughs> I mean, they're, you know, no, no quality pearl is going to be cheap, but they're not going to be crazy money either. Okay, I'll measure them quick and then just, and what did I do with my, uh, of course I don't have it out. To measure the millimeter size of the pearl. It's here somewhere. <laughs> That's my motto. Okay, sterling, definitely. Um, generous, actually. 18 inches long. Look at the luster on them. These, oh, I love the clasp. I love the pearl. Of course, they would be my sweet spot. 17 inches. That brushed sterling and little from what I can determine, diamonds. And you can see that says sterling silver. So, we know these aren't new pearls. And there's an, <laughs> these are just, so many of these are so gorgeous, you know. <laughs> I want to be like Grady and These are like four or five millimeters and they're infinity and I need to measure them. Thirty six inches long. Infinity no class. So you could at least double those. Um Turn my tape over. <sighs> Sterling silver clasp, 22 inches long. These are ovoid, beautiful luster. Probably a two or three grade finish. You know, some minor imperfections, but Still beautiful. And there are the Rice crispy Pearls, but a double strand. And I actually have two Rice crispy bracelets, so I'm actually going to do a set. And these are 16 inches long. And it's a tiny bit graduated. Well, actually, they almost hit the same length. And that's the pink set, and I've already shown you those. And a lot of these pink ones, did I? I? You know, I keep going between pink and peach. They're 30 inches long, and it's the light. It 
depends on what light you're in. Some lights, they look peach. Some lights, they look pink. When you put them up against the cream, they look pink. These I absolutely adore. You know that because they're white and pink and sea foam or turquoise, more sea foam. Gorgeous with sterling. And that's a shorter line. I think it's 16. No, 17. Ha ha. I love a 17 inch necklace. I, it just hits me perfectly. And these are 18. These beautiful shades of gray. Not 50 shades, just a few shades. And white, like almost a silvery white. So that's it for the pearls. Okay. Of course, you know I have some phenomenal necklaces, but first I'll give you a gander at the rings that are available. No, there's that larger size. I think, you know, I don't think I measured it, but it's got to be a 10. It just floats, oh, well, nine and a half. I, I wear seven and three quarters. It nearly fell off my hand. This is a seven and a quarter. Oh help if you saw her right side up she's very beautiful she's got a flower in her hair she's highly detailed these two of course are jasper wear rings they are antique art deco rings this is black spinel a natural culture pearl this is sterling silver with rhodium over and diamonds We call them commercial grade when they're set in sterling like that, but they're, it's, it's over a carrot. It's a nice look. This, I think, is gorgeous. And the diamonds aren't bad at all. And, I mean, that is a dinner ring. Or, if you're wearing it during the day, you like a lot of sparkle. These are black diamonds. This is not black spinel. I love the buckle design. And it is, sorry. I'm going to call it an eight. It's because it's so wide, it like fits snugly. Me snugly. Now, this one is a seven and three quarters. So it fits perfectly. Um, this one is an eight. Now, these are on the tray, so, you know, Bob will take them up a bit. You know, a size or two, and he can't take them down. This incredible Wella Opal is six and three quarters at the moment. We know this is a seven. This is a seven and three quarters, almost oh, nearly an eight. Well, this is sterling with just really good gold over. I mean, this is a very qual well made quality ring. It's peridot diamond and Russian chrome diopside. And that, you know, the prongs are black. That's what makes it look. I suppose I should be showing you all of them up close. This is emeralds and diamonds in nine karat gold. Cannot believe it's still here. I like to wear it even though it's a nine, but because it's a wide ring. 
when it's a wide ring, I can wear a bigger ring. Um, let's see. This one, I think I'm going to take to the, yeah, I'm going to take this one to the lapidary. It needs polish. But it's Art Deco. Uh, that Madeira Citrine is Art Deco. This honking gorgeous amethyst is retro. 1940s, 1950s. When they did Deco, you know, a, a Deco reboot. Art Deco, Art Deco, uh, there's an Art Deco emerald, cushion cut emerald amethyst. This is, of course, an Alexandrite. Art Deco Alexandrite, and if you like a ring that doesn't have a really high profile, uh, you know, a larger stone, but not a really high profile. That one's perfect. This is 14 karat gold. Um, I need to measure it and give you the weight on it, but I'm going to guess it's at least 10 to 12 carats of Harlequin cut watermelon tourmaline and diamonds, small diamond accents, but big presentation, just really pretty, and I should be giving you the size. Even though it doesn't make a difference because bauble size gold was no problem. Um, within reason, you know. He yells at me if he has to take it up more than four or five sizes. Uh, that is a seven and a half. The Alexandrite is, a, is an eight. Shocked at that. I hadn't even tried it on. And I should. Because you should know whether or not it's comfortable. Um, this is the Emerald Cut. Emerald Cushion Cut. Amethyst. The split prongs. Yum yum. Size 7. The big chunky amethyst is. It looks like a 7 and a quarter. I cannot believe that this incredible citrine is still here. What? what? You're sleeping. It's phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it's tiny. It's only a size 5. But it's gold. Not a problem. Then we have this beautiful Art Deco. Very detailed. 9 karat gold. Beautiful bows, split prongs, girly, girly, girly. She sits at a five and a quarter. She's a little girl. Whereas this Georgian ring, I think this is in size though. Incredible Ceylon sapphire. Full pearls, not split pearls. Georgian, 15 karat gold. Just, it is a size, <laughs> my size, seven and three quarters. Hmm, is that the universe telling me to keep it? Oh my, like I need another ring. Five and a quarter on the uranium. But we know Bob can come up with that. This is one you haven't seen. Three stone. Very clear. Incredibly clear. Tanzanite. Three stone. Diamond accents. Set in nine karat gold. Nine karat yellow gold. And then, oh, I like that. It's got little diamonds set. 
Can you see them? On either side. Above the gallery. So let's see, that is a just perfect seven. Art Deco. She's upside down. Yeah, of course she is. Upside down. <laughs> Gold. Sterling. Split prongs. Oh no, claw, claw prongs. She's very Art Deco. I, I think she's gorgeous. I think she fits me too. Did I just measure it? Yep, seven and three quarters. I thought so. I I swear I don't buy rings. <laughs> I don't buy rings just to to have them. This is one of those hot Art Deco garnet rings. Nine karat gold. When you take this, I mean, you can see the fire on it. Gorgeous. That's an Amandine, by the way. This one is a Mozambique. It's got the hot orange. You can see the glow from underneath the ring. These lights are terrible for diamonds and decent sized diamond accents on either side. It, when the light hits it, especially when you're outside, it looks like fire on your finger. And then this is a new one as well. It's small, but it's gorgeous. It's diamonds. And a beautiful, beautiful, I think, Russian emerald. They, they have just a very different color about them. And it's Edwardian yellow gold, white gold. We talked about how rare white gold was. All of that. All of that work is hand chased. Really beautiful stands, really elegant ring. This is Victorian. And they're called boat rings because they I guess because they look like a, a long boat. It's um Thai sapphires and diamond. Set in nine karat gold. We'll do the Georgian last. This is Art Nouveau. Two incredible green tourmaline and pearl, well, they're full of pearls. And I want to say this one is 12 karat gold. I had to have them XRF because a lot of them, you know, the marks have worn. It's seven and a half currently Edwardian black opal let me look and see if this is a doublet or a triplet it is a triplet that means it has black iron stone behind it and rock crystal quartz on top of it but it has every color of the rainbow in the stone. I cannot believe that this beautiful Art Deco three stone ruby that is set in with a white gold head 
and a yellow gold band and it's engraved 1928 inside what well, has a date in 1928 I mean, they're natural rupees, guys. They they didn't heat treat and, you know, fill them. And, yeah, my nails and the ruby, I'll show you when the light show, the rubies glow as well. Well, you know, we can't, we can't do the trade uranium and not light the uranium. That's sacrilege. It's funny. And last but not least, I think this is a seven. Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter, 18. Look at that buttery, dark, 18 karat gold. Georgian, rose cut diamonds. Full cut diamonds. And completely hallmarked for $17.99. that and gosh did we go through the I don't think we we didn't do the Russian ring did we but how did I skip over this incredible ring the enamel is perfect I believe that these diamonds now do they still cut rose diamonds? Yes, but I believe these are old diamonds. And also, that is a Russian technique where they crimp that silver like it's foil underneath a sheet of faceted. I don't know if you can see the faceted the facets at this angle. But it's like a sheet. There you go. A sheet of diamond that is faceted and then bezel set on top of that crinkled silver this this ring now this is one i wish fit me but no it's actually what did i say a seven no it's a six and a half and i don't even know if bob could size it even though it has that bit of band there because of the enamel I won't be able to find out until Monday. But it, it might fit one of you the way it is. Also, there is a... Oh. Art Deco. Watermelon Tourmaline. White Spinel. Every bit of it is handmade. It's articulated. It's nine karat gold. I had to have it XRF because it's not, it was made by a jeweler. Even the box clasp, every, everything was handmade. It's, it's an incredible bracelet. Okay, kids, that is the ring, and I think that's the only full gold bracelet. Yeah. Um, well, I guess I might as well show you these pearls. And here's some of the other pearl earrings that I've actually set aside because they kind of go with some of those strands, and you know, if you... And of course, there are new delicious raspberry looking Bohemian garnet earrings on French wires, on gold French wires. This isn't garnet gold. This is boom, one carat gold. I can't remember if this is nine or 12. I do know they're vintage. It is a gold clasp. They're 22 inches long and they are round and perfection. They have a blue and a pink tone to them. As well as these vintage 
1950s Mikimoto pearl screw back earrings. Absolutely gorgeous. These pearls, like I said, match some of those strands. Um, those will match most of them. They're beautiful. Um, whoa. And we're going to lose them. All right. I'm going to pull the necklaces. Of course, first of all, we have... Oh, my tree is shedding needles. It's been in the house for a couple days. There'll be pictures on. And I'll try to get a shot of it. Those, of course, are both uranium. Bohemian uranium art deco. Um just over 15 and I believe I want to say just over like 16 and a half these are I have more of those green beads that if you wanted it longer I don't want to start talking about altering but you know I can all right um the haunting <laughs> she's ghostly looking I don't know what it is It's just, she's a beautiful silhouette, but it, it's just, I, I don't know what it is about her. I mean, I like her. And this necklace is nine carat on a nine carat chain. And it's beautiful robin's egg guilloche enamel. I think this design had something to do with the compass. They liked compass shapes. They liked target shapes. necklace chiming off of my necklace stand which I actually need back here so I can see what the heck I'm doing because some of these are quite delicate now this one is not that delicate <laughs> actually this is the one with that incredible um, safety chain It's actually heavy Rolo. And this is that beautiful antique cameo that has the it's nine karat gold. The chain's nine karat gold and has nine karat gold um, earrings that mimic her. And it's also either a brooch or a cameo. Now, there are a few of these necklaces that you've never seen. I know, because I just got them in. Well, this one, <laughs> in fact, this one on this huge, heavy Victorian Molo, you have seen. Because it's, of course, that incredibly rare. Go ahead and have a look for them. Large pools of, I'll give you the millimeters this evening, because I don't know where my measuring gauges um wow i don't know 12 between 12 and 15 it's a big pool and of course it's split but not drilled because it's a locket Locks you put a little picture in there so you can see how cool it looks and this is a very heavy roller or belcher 
handmade Victorian chain. Now, let's see. We'll show you another Victorian. Um, I told you these were for men's. It's all Hallmark. For men's pocket watches. Now, ladies wear them as necklaces. And they're very attractive, I think. You can either wear it that way, which I see most people wearing it, or you could wear it with the dog clip. I've seen people wear it with the dog clip and then charm, you know, like a charm or a pendant on it. And that one is... Just long, very generous. Now, this necklace is from the 1980s, and this is when the 80s did the 1920s. And we know the 80s copied everybody. Now, this is a company called Dutch Silver, D U T C H Silver. They've been in business since 1825. And this incredible necklace, if you want to give it a screenshot and look it up, retails for nearly $300. It was this company doing Art Deco. Those are Swarovski crystal. I believe that's enamel or might be, I need to look it up again, might be onyx because that's definitely onyx. Love, love, love this necklace. I don't know if you can see that tag. And of course, I've got something in my other hand, so it's hard for me to. is Mark Sterling Silver, but I'm going to say honestly that this is it's Art Nouveau, but because of the guilloche enameling, they had a different style of enameling during Art Nouveau. I'm going to say this was made Art Deco. It's quite beautiful. It is Art Nouveau style. And it is antique, but not, you know, way back proper. <laughs> I believe this one is Art Deco. And it's another Art Deco does Art Nouveau because of the pearls. And the enameling. How beautiful is it? All of these necklaces are they're incredible. Fit for queens. And that's all you should have. I bring you the best because you deserve the best. And then if there's interest in the fobs, I will show them as well. Um, show you quickly. They're Georgian. Nine karat gold. I told you that's just dirt behind it. 200 years of somehow getting dust into it. Uh, was it Nan said, uh, oh, there's, there's wear, so you know they're 
there that's the history i mean you know i've had antiques that look brand new there there is some wear to these but they're honest is what i call them you know they weren't locked they were used they weren't locked away in a closet somewhere or a drawer you know someone carried them for however long and loved them I swear I've just taken the link off of that. <laughs> um, I'll also bring this antique. Mirror. That's a cartouche. That you could put your own initials. There's foxing to the mirror. But it's still beautiful. And I also put it on. I called those paper rings that you know you put on a Christmas tree it's not really it's like an oblong Rollo or Belcher link it's also antique and I I'll measure it but I think it's 30 inches long okay let's pull this down because we're gonna pull down the bracelets and we're not gonna call this bracelet fast you know but kids it's been a while since we've seen the bracelets and I haven't stopped buying. So, yeah, there's a few. I want to be careful because you know this thing, I won't say it's the most sturdy bracelet rack I've ever had. And the fact that it like comes apart so you can see things is a blessing and a curse. Yeah, there's more. Um, okay, I think that's enough for right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here, sorry, picking at my nails. I had my nails done yesterday and they're, I think they went a little quick. acrylic gets behind them and draws me you know so <laughs> where do we start I guess we start with Victorian yeah and we'll work our way down these we'll get there first of all I have a couple incredible Scottish bracelets. I mean, are, yes, one of a kind. We're going to call them one of a kind because they're all handmade. You can see I've already got a scuff on my new bracelet rack because one of the bracelets that is over here in the box is very small. It is for my girls who... wanted a Scottish bracelet that have very small wrist. Now, you know about these bracelets, every bit of that work is hand done. I mean, not only from the cutting of the stones, look how beautiful these stones are. All the chase work, all the engraving. all of the setting of the stones Just, I've got to see the light behind that wow I've got to show you later with the light behind it absolutely gorgeous now this one is so pretty and it fits me so well um, yeah I won't cry if it doesn't go You need to look at it. That's blue lace agate. I think for the most of it, it's blue lace agate. Some of them look dark, be blue lace. Absolutely, incredibly gorgeous. 
and that one's darker. But some of them are dark. They're all different colors. <sighs> Breathtaking. Just literally that stunning. Um, okay, then we'll wind back up because you've seen oh, some of these are small and I cannot I can't clasp them on the um bracelet rack because they are small and that bracelet rack is designed for modern wrist. But the beautiful incredible Victorian cuff with multiple colors of gold on sterling. I mean look look at the condition. Look at the condition of these bracelets. I mean, the Victorian coin, that incredible um, Albertina I showed you, the woven hair with nine karat gold with a rose gold cartouche. Um, that's a Victorian bucket, buckle bangle. <laughs> Another one um, that's one of the proper 1891s. Um, these are a little bit later, these two. Um, this one is also 1890 and very unique. Of course, all the charm bracelets. I'm going to go through them quick during the show. And, you know, I will offer, offer a few of them. Um, and if you see one, I'll go through the charms quickly. And if you see one that you want, then, you know, we'll pull it down. There are, these are two pairs of Bakelite. And we have um, the 1950s, oh, on the safety there. 1950s, oh gosh, can't think of the name. Because I'm drawing a blank, I'm tired. Um, Whiting and Davis, of course. Uh, <laughs> the large Peridot bracelet. That's going to fit an 8-inch or bob. This is absolutely gorgeous. All black sterling. Black spinel. Look at that. Oh, my God. Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, a couple of that underneath there, too. Ugh. Okay, you saw the largest that we thought we had of the rock crystal quartz. Um, if you are shy or retiring, this is not your bracelet. If, if you want to rock the rock, this is your bracelet. I think it's called Newbridge. British Sterling. Ice cold, of course. Rock crystal quartz. Rock cut rock crystal quartz. Can you see the sparkle on this bracelet? Um, I'll just put them over and take them as they go. This is, of course, rutilated quartz. Um, I know many of you hate the T bar, so I modified it with a padlock. This is that beautiful Bohemian Garnet. This is Black Diamonds with Sterling and Rose Gold. 1920s Green Enamel, that beautiful machine turned enamel. Um, this is the Art Deco lady bracelet that was in the hall that was black this bracelet is sterling and late edwardian early deco beautiful ladies reclining these are two scottish bracelets that are both art deco um an art deco
remember it's dated from the 50, 40s, 1940s, so late, late deco, way late. Couple gate bracelets, beautiful all heart clasp, um, an art deco check, deco checko, and I think that's the bracelets. Oh, oh my gosh, no that's not. I didn't show these two amazing bracelets. Scottish with a Cairngorm. Yep, that's all hand chased, kids. Sterling and hand chased with a Cairngorm citrine. It's all hand engraved and Victorian. And of course, the incredible Victorian roll gold. Pink gold, green gold, and yellow gold. We'll call it Black Hills now. You know, don't take me there. And set with pearls. Slide bracelet. Some very honest. I mean, I can trim those off if you want. But there is minor damage to the fringe. The finish is still incredible. Of course, it's real gold. It's 24 karat gold over. And this is 140, you know, between 120 and 140 years old. It's quite incredible. And kids, that's it. So I'm going to make up one of my slick little preview videos and I will see you all later. I love you all. See you soon.